Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Kid Robot Adventure Time mini series blind box figures. Like the Mega Man series that we had a look at before, we're going to have a look at an entire case of Adventure Time mini series figures. Uh, warning choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three years of age. I hope everybody has a sandwich, a drink, something that they're going to have with them for a very long period of time. As again, we're going to go through the entire case. We're going to open up each one of these one at a time. Before we do that, let's have a look at the box. We've got Adventure Time Kid Robot mini series. And that's what it looks like on the side. Adventure Time Kid Robot. The back, unlike the Mega Man, which if you remember, did not actually have the name of the characters. All the characters are listed on the back, which is extremely good. There is one mystery character as well. And uh, hopefully... We will get all of them like we did with the Mega Man series, but there's Finn, Fiona, Finn with Grass Sword, Jake, Cake, Ice King, Ice Queen, uh, Princess Bubblegum, Prince Gumball, uh, BMO, Question Mark, Flame Princess, Gunter, Lich, Lumpy Space Princess, Magic Man, Mar uh, Marceline, and Marshall Lee. So let's go ahead and we'll spin it around. I'm gonna open this up. And we gotta fold this down, make it all look nice and presentable. There we go. This will fold into the back. Sometimes it can be a little more problematic, but when you go into a comic book store, as Spot is trying to get this all in, when you go into a comic book store, this is exactly how it's gonna be laid out. This folds into the back. There we go. It's a little finicky because there's a couple of boxes. There we go, that's exactly what we want. And we'll have it just like that. So, there are the characters on the front. And funny enough, one thing I'm noticing right away, there are stickers on the top telling you which character is in the box. And I, th I think that is correct. If I'm looking at all the characters, you'll see all the characters Kind of defeats the purpose, if you ask me, of a blind box if the sticker is featured on the top. But needless to say, we're going to go through each one of these and we're going to open this up. The individual boxes, we got Kid Robot mini series. Grab all 18. And there's the characters once again. And the other characters. Total of 18. On the bottom, www.kidrobot.com if you want to check out other really cool collectibles that they are releasing from DC. Of course, South Park, Simpsons, you name it. Kid Robot's got tons of blind boxes for them. So, we're gonna need ourselves, uh, well, what are we gonna need? We're gonna need our, ourselves a knife. I got old red here. I'm gonna cut the tape on the first one. And let's see if it matches the, the character that's on the top. Let's, let's open it up and find out. We are also treated to a card. And it says Ice Queen. So let's, let's see. Let's see if it is the Ice Queen. Go ahead and cut the foil. And in fact, it is the Ice Queen. Pretty cool though, pretty cool. I'm surprised that the, they would actually tell you the name of the character on the box. But at any rate, I'm appreciative of that. It certainly saves a little money buying extra ones, but you know, the whole fun sometimes is not knowing what characters you're going to get inside the box. But there's the Ice Queen. A much shorter version of Ice Queen versus the uh, the cartoon. Well, I should say that proportionately she seems a little bit different because she's she's got a different sculpt going on there. But uh, articulation. Her head moves just a little bit. Just a little bit. Me, me, me. Left and right. I don't know why I made that voice. And uh, the arms also move. So there you have the Ice Princess. The card shows you again all the characters, and it also appears that this is a sticker. It is a sticker. Win-win if you ask me. Ice Princess and the sticker. We'll go ahead and put her to the side. Let's see who else is going to join us. Let's see if this is actually Finn. I'm going to assume yes. There's Finn on the top. Take our knife once again, cut the tape, and open it up. Open it up. Try not to make too much of a mess here. The Ice Princess had much uh, lighter glue on the top than Finn does here. And there we go. Finn. 
and cut the cut the foil bag. It looks like he comes in a couple of different parts. I don't know if that's intentional. Maybe it is. Comes with his knapsack. We'll put that on top. Also, pop his head into place. Maybe it just came loose in the bag. But there's Finn. Yay, Finn! It also comes with a sword. His sword. I know that's not how you pronounce sword. I like to have fun. There's his sword. Articulation, same as the Ice Princess. His arms and his head. Although his head does pop off a little bit too much there. But there is Finn. Good old Finn. Put him to the side. If you guys are fans of Adventure Time, let me know down below. Also, let me know what your favorite character is. I'd like to say, like, my favorite character is Finn, but that's not... I want to just be, like... I don't know. I don't... I kind of like... I'm trying to think of who my favorite character is from... Adventure Time. Now, truthfully, I haven't been watching as long as maybe some other fans of Adventure Time. Any other accessories? I don't want to make that same mistake again. No forgetting that there's accessories inside. Abe Lincoln. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, there we go. That was the secret character. Question mark. Question mark ended up being Abe Lincoln. Head rotation. Same arm articulation as the other characters. It also comes with a sticker. Abe Lincoln. Put him to the side. I'm going to run out of space, I'm certain, very, very soon. Because these are awfully big boxes. Cut the next one. Oh, and if you're wondering, there are 15. Four up. That gives us 20. Four, five, 20. I know math. Not all the time, mind you. <laughs> oh, not all the time. Princess Bubblegum. Got the foil. And there is Princess Bubblegum. I kind of like Princess Bubblegum a little bit. I don't know. Does that... Does that make me wrong for liking that? Little head rotation, not much. Her arm actually a little more limited because her head's kind of taking up a lot of her shoulder area. There's Princess Bubblegum. Moving along, again with the labels on the tops here. Ugh, cut the tape. This should be Magic Man. Glue's a little stronger on this one as well. And cut the foil. I'm double checking, don't worry guys, I'm double checking to make sure that none of the accessories are still in the bag. And there is Magic Man. Good old Magic Man. Little head rotation. Again, I guess it's because the the backpack is over top of... It's kind of like a Lego Man. Like the backpack is sitting on top of the, the peg where the head sits into place. So I guess maybe that hinders it ever so slightly. There is the Magic Man with his sticker. We're going to put him to the side as well. And moving along... I'd like to pretend like these are all surprises, but again, we kind of already know. Gunter, another one of my favorite characters. Good old Gunter. Put the box to the side, because I know we're going to start piling up boxes all over the place. And anything else in there? No, nothing else. He's, here's a little Gunter. We'll put him next to Finn. I will say one thing about uh, Kid Robot, and actually, did this one come with a card? I don't think it came with a card. I'm looking around here, let's double check. I want to make. I don't want to miss a thing. No, oh, maybe it did come with a card. Maybe I just maybe I dropped it. Oh, that's oh bananas, as I would say. Oh bananas. Oh, there's the card. I put the box down. There's the card right there, Gunter. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Spot didn't lose the card. Moving on, cut the tape on this one. See, this one opened up a lot easier. And there's the card inside. We got Marshall Lee. Ugh. 
That's when I struggle a little bit because he's got such a big head. Ooh, I like the look of that one. A little plaid shirt going on there. He's got some jeans, some sneakers. Oh, and also bite marks. Let's not forget that. Guy kind of looks like me if I was a vampire. Spot, you look like a vampire? No, if not the vampire end of it. Ah, oh, shucks. I thought he was going to be a vampire. No, no, not this guy. Not yet, at least. Now that I've cursed myself for saying that. Not yet. It could happen. Technically, we could all turn into vampires. And opening up the next box. Where's the card? Where's the card? Oh, there's the card. Hello, the card's in the... Can you see it? There it is right there, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. The card is right there. I can't even reach it. There we go. There we go. Fiona. Put, put that right there. And let's add the Fiona figure to the Fiona card. And she was all intact. There's Fiona. There's Finn. Essentially the same bodies, same knapsacks, different heads. There's Finn, Fiona. Put her right over there. I'm kind of amassing a little collection. Well, I'm amassing a lot of a collection because we're going through the whole case. I guess the beauty of these particular blind boxes is because you know which ones you're getting, you can buy the ones that you're missing as opposed to, you know, buying four or five and realizing it's all the same figure inside. There's Prince Gumball. Got the plastic or the foil bag on that. There we go. Anything else? No accessories? No accessories. Okay, so far so good. I like the coloring on this one. Goes perfect with Princess Gumball. Princess Bubblegum there. There's Princess Bubblegum. Prince Gumball. Your Majesties. Nice, nice pieces. Moving along. How many we got left spot? Well, we got five across and we got six down the side. What's five plus six? 14? No. Close. 27? Not even close. And when I say close, you kind of have to kind of... That's, that's not close at all. 42? No. Nope. Oh, now you're getting really off course. India? Okay, that's not even a number. We got Marcelin. Marcelin? You don't have read-ups or anything on the back, but that's okay. And the foil. This one also has an accessory. This one has... Uh, a guitar, like an axe guitar. Very cool. There she is right there. Pairs perfectly also with Marshall Lee. There, there's the two of them right there. Put him there and we'll put, actually we'll put her right next to him. There we go. Moving along to the next box. Go ahead and cut the tape on that. You know, they say mini series, but there's really nothing mini about these. They're good sized figures. And as I say good sized figures, let's segue that over to Ice King. If you heard that, I just, one of the boxes fell on the floor. Black hole should have been here. Black hole's moved over here. If it fell into the black hole, you probably would have just heard zoom. No, it fell on the floor. That's what happens when you run out of space. And nothing else in there. Okay. There is the Ice King. His head moves slightly. Not much. Arm movement going on there as well. The Ice King. Spot is totally running out of space. You have no idea. I need myself at least another three desks in length. Length being this way. Cauliflower soup? No, no, we've st we've stopped playing this game. You have decided you want to keep playing, but we've actually, the bus has already left. The game bus has already left. We're not playing this game anymore. Oh shucks. 
Next, we have a Flame Princess. We are having some adventure, aren't we? You and I. There's the Flame Princess. There's Flame Princess. I wonder if we can actually, you know what? Let's start filling in the box here. We'll put the Flame Princess right there. She can kind of keep everybody company while we resume the rest of these. And how many do we have left now? We have four, three, plus one. Anybody? Yes, technically we are playing this game again. If you guessed eight, you would be correct. Please accept this shiny, shiny coin. I don't have a shiny coin. Cards at the bottom. This card got a little more on the smushy, smushy side. Got another Ice King. That's good at least that we got two Ice Kings. And, uh, you know, the card, the card got a little, a little worse for wear. But that's okay because we got two of these. There is another Ice King. I suppose, theoretically, this one right here, we don't need to open. It is the Ice Queen. I guess I could keep it pristine. I could even give this to a friend. I could just say, that's for you. This is for you. Because let's look at what we've gotten so far. We've got Finn, Fiona. We don't have Finn with Grass Sword yet. Which I see him over there. Okay, so we're good so far. Princess Bubblegum we got. Prince Gumball we got. Flame Princess. Gunter, Ice King, Ice Queen. And let's flip around to the other side. Jake, we haven't gotten, but I think Jake's right there. Cake, I see cake. Mm, I would love to see cake. Uh, we have Lumpy Space Princess. We have all of these. We don't have BMO and we don't have Lich, but I do see them here. So this one, I might actually just give to a friend. I'm gonna just say that's for you. Thanks for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a friend and a confidant. I think that something about throwing a party. Yes, that is the theme from Golden Girls. Oh my god, have I just lost my cool card? Did I ever have a cool card? Did I just lose my cool card for referencing the Golden Girls? Something about B. Arthur, though. Mm, I don't know what it is. I find her attractive, or I, I did find her attractive at one point. B. Arthur? Spot? Really? I don't know what it is. I'm not sure what it is. Sometimes you just... Can't explain these things in life. You just go with them. Very cool. This one also has translucent legs. Because it's just a blob. Hands still rotate though. Although they rotate a little bit differently. So this one can play peekaboo. Peekaboo! I see you. I see you! There it is. Put that right there. We have now five left. This one feels heavier. Not that that's relevant, because what are you really comparing it against? If I'm comparing against a marshmallow, then really all of these are heavier, heavier than a marshmallow. Mm, marshmallows. I could really go with a marshmallow right about now, too. If for no other reason than just to say the word marshmallow. Mm, marshmallow. Uh, any accessories? I think so far we're good. Spot has not left off any accessories yet. Ooh, this one's creepy. Creepy yet cool. Cool yet creepy. Very cool paint though. I like this one a lot. Like a lot. B. Arthur a lot? Maybe not, not that much. A friend and a confidant. Okay, so we're now down to four boxes. If this is what I think it is based on the label on the top, we're gonna get ourselves Jake. Jake. Let's open it up, find out. There we go. Oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Where's his card? There's his card. Card was at the bottom. Oh boy. There's Jake's card right there. Now I can put the box back on the ground. Woo. Put that box on the ground. Leave it on the ground. Right now, this backdrop, this area you see right here, and the floor looks like an episode of Hoarders. Don't worry, there's no rotting food anywhere. I love when a hoarder guy comes in like the experts, the experts, you know, they come into the house and they go, oh, oh, what's that smell? What's that smell? Is that is that rotten 
like I think in one episode the guy said, "Is that a rotting squash?" She said, and the girl actually, funny enough, said, "No, no, no, no. The rotting squash is in the next room." Like she actually categorized in her head where specific rotting items were. That was so disgusting. There's Jake, pairing him perfectly with Finn. Finn and Jake. We'll put Jake right there. And moving along, we now have two left. If this is correct, we've got ourselves a Finn. And I guess judging by everything too, we only got one double. Only one, that's it. And let's open this up. There we go, some, some of these are opening better than others. There's the card right there, Finn with the grass sword. Put that right there. And let's go ahead and open this up. Now he's gonna have an accessory. I'm gonna try not to forget that the accessory is there. There's the grass sword. And there is Finn. Finn and the grass sword. That sounds like a story. It probably is. And it's an adventure time story filled with adventure and delight and the golden girls no it doesn't no it doesn't now spot the second last box of this adventure we get on gives us here's the card gives us cake mm, delicious cake what's your favorite cake everybody everybody of this audience favorite cake I tell you, you know, I have a weakness when it comes to Betty Crocker, cherry chip cake with like a vanilla frosting. Oh, that's so good. Oh, yes, I've made a mess everywhere. At least there's no rotting squash in this room. Not that I'm aware of, at least. There's cake. Goes perfectly with Jake. Also rhymes. I'm not responsible for that. The creators of the show are responsible for that. The final box. Ugh. Oh, there we go. The final box. Pay no attention to the wrappers falling all over the place. The final box, and where's the card? There's the card right there. Card right there, BMO. Which pronounced, I guess, would be BMO, BMO. That makes no sense. He's cute too. Yeah, a pretty cool haul. Let's kind of just revisit. We'll bring in all the characters that we had to look at so yeah, you guys can all see. Just again, pay no attention to the wrappers everywhere. It's like an episode of Hoarders. No, the squash is in the next room. Wait, what? It's in the next room. Well, what's in this room that smells so bad? That might be me. I think you're right, it might be. Here's all the figures that we had to look at. Again, there's Fiona. We'll just put her in there as well. We're kind of got a little adventure going on in the actual box. There's Finn. There we go. I kind of feel like the friendly giant where I used to just set the, the table and chairs. This person's gonna sit around the side. This person's gonna sit here. And if you look up, way up, there's where I am right there. There they are all, my friends. Now, again, pay no attention to the wrappers everywhere. Spock's going to clean himself up after that. But we had ourselves a bit of an adventure today. Yes, we certainly did. We laughed. We cried. We opened. We had an adventure with the Adventure Time blind box figures. Or actually, they were the Kid Robot. There they are right there. The mini series from Adventure Time. And we did the entire case. You and me and... B. Arthur makes three. Um, certainly, thanks for watching, guys. This was a longer video, of course, because when we do uncasings, Spot goes off tangent and talks about other stuff as well. But I appreciate everybody that stuck around and watched this. Today's collectible spot, we're looking at the Kid Robot Adventure Time mini series uh, case. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. Thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.